Welcome to Motocross Saxon's first ride. Today we're testing the 2017 KTM 250 SXF. As we all have heard by now, the biggest updates to the KTM SX line are the WP48 air forks. These forks so far are some of the best forks on the market. So far they've been a huge improvement over the 4CS forks. With the 4CS forks, they were supple up top, but as soon as you got deep into the stroke, they would bottom out. And once you stiffen up the compression, then it would stiffen up the top, top end of the stroke. With the air forks, they have great bottom resistance and you're also able to go out on the compression to supple up the top of the stroke. The forks work hand in hand with the more rigid top triple clamp. This allows the forks to be able to flex with the bike and as of last year, like when you slap down the front end, it felt really rigid and stiff and almost as a clunk sensation. This year it kind of moves together with the front and the rear. As far as the engine's concerned, this thing is exactly the same for 2016 and that's not necessarily a bad thing. This engine pumped out almost 44 horsepower in the dyno last year. For lower level riders, novices, and beginners, this is a hard to ride engine. It doesn't have much bottom to mid, but it screams up top. Pros and intermediates love high revving KTM 250F engine. Also new in the 250F KTM is the map switch. An aggressive map, standard map, but you can put it in track control, and also when you push the two together, it puts it in launch control. All our test riders use the aggressive map. The stock map on a 250F, it wasn't really suitable for motocross track. Maybe some really muddy conditions or really hard packed dirt where you might utilize it. Although our lower level riders aren't too keen on the lack of bottom end power on the KTM 250F, it is the lightest and most powerful bike in its class. Last year, the KTM 250F came in third in our 250F shootout. The reason being, for one, the engine. For two, the suspension. That was really its biggest gripe with all our testers' suspension. Now with the upgraded WP Air Forks, in the next few months, we'll have our 250 shootout to see where it stacks up. Look for the full write-up of the 2017 KTM 250 SXF in the November issue of Motocross Action Magazine, or go to motocrossactionmag.com for all the future write-ups and updates on parts and products for 2017.